and get your kiss on. Hey. Let's go. Why you come up here just to bite me? You're asking for it. Oh, you're asking for it now. <coughs> that was kind of sick. What? I just went like, and she just came up. That was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Ann has been dating this boy for... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You can't put this in a video. I can't? Oh, plus, I'm not gonna watch this. Why does... Who, who, care, who care? He doesn't care. Why would he care? You can't put this in. I thought that's the whole point of this segment, to talk about him. Talk about the how you feel in the breakup. What? Workmen didn't give us permission <laughs> to put this in. <laughs> I know, we're not saying his name. We're, we're saying his nickname, Winthrop. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Well, that, that, that's the juice. That's the juice here. That's okay, why we're guys. talking. Cats out the bag. I'm giving you the whole story. Yes, Pops. No, don't. On has, <laughs> I guess on had a close boy. If we're not going to talk about this, what's why are we... What is this? I thought we were reflecting on our day. And what happened today? Didn't you get into college? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a pretty big deal. Yeah, I mean, but fuck it. It's okay. Stop being scared, okay? This is, so this is my littlest sister, On. She's a very uh, aloof. aloof. I'm one of a kind. Mm, I don't know about that, but... I'm a special girl. No, May's the special girl. <laughs> Let's just say but you don't find me walking on the street. You don't find a guy like this in the rodeo. <laughs> I'm no regular sheep in the herd. <laughs> No regular tool in the shed. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I have three siblings. I have an older brother, a year and a half apart, but we're, we're pretty close. And then I have my little sister, May, just a little bit younger than me. On here is the littlest. Oh, yeah. Fun fact. Moshi is actually Ons. Ons the one that wanted a bunny. But her main appearance on my channel was in this video, the one with her ex, Naoki. And um I definitely had a glow up there. I'm just I'm not like others. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not like one of the other girls. Okay. But yeah, on and her long distance boyfriend broke up. Y'all don't like really need to ago. tell them my whole live love story. Yeah, but the quesadillas want the juice. Y'all wanna they know. They don't even know me. This is, it's interesting though. They people, don't even people, know people, me. people like drama. Listen, I'm a psychologist. Alright. I'm a psychologist. Are I you know. Really? I know what the people want. You haven't want. even studied that yet. I know what the brain wants. So yeah, I'm broke up with Naoki. By the way, Naoki, if you're watching this, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing well. No, yeah, actually though. And then a couple months ago, On started dating another boy named Gunther. But then when we got orders to move here, they were kind of probably planning on ending things. I guess they got close. And when we landed, or when on landed here, he started simping and said that he wants to be with her forever and he loves her and all this stuff and he wants to do long distance. And he was the one that was for not doing long distance in the first place. So to on surprise, this was, you know, this was a big moment. Very happy, cool. So yeah, when they decided to stick together, like I was pretty happy for them. You know, it was cool, fun times. But um, six days later, he dropped the bomb on her. He dropped the nuke, the heartbreak nuke. He said, "I don't know what to be honest. I was kind of hoping for just a, how are you doing today?" But yeah, I just kind of wanted to put on in the video and just maybe you can kind of get some things off your chest. I don't know. Tell it to the case of DS. Get real. What, what do you feel? Mm -hmm. It was still like, it was meaningful and I did learn a lot because this relationship, it was like, since I, uh, we knew that I was going to move eventually, we, we kind of had like this plan like, how about we have this really healthy relationship that we can use for our future and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So y'all used it as like a kind of a tool to yeah, be like, better. Yeah, we really focused on bettering ourselves in this relationship. That's kind of why I'm also don't feel as sad because I knew that we were gonna part eventually. Mm -hmm. But 
he did give me hope. I feel like I should better myself on the part where I was swayed by him. Like, he was in charge of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, he told us he didn't want to do long distance, and then he said he didn't want to do long distance. It was all kind of his choice. I don't know, I just feel like I didn't put in my opinion as much. Mm -hmm. But, like, I felt like I just always agreed with him. So, I don't know if, like, I don't think I understood if I wanted that or not. Like, what he was saying, I don't know if I disagreed because whatever, or, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that was really worded badly i'm sorry yeah you're that. not too good i don't know how to talk about my feelings but i did want to say that i was very thankful for this relationship because i got the most out of it just like i wanted to how to really grow from these things is to come from a place of understanding love, love respect the process just all right yep cool all you can do is just appreciate it and i really do like most of that time i was very happy and he made me very happy and that's all he wanted from me and so i'm thankful Life is good. It really is. And yeah. I just moved to Japan. So. I mean, I feel like I have it on the easier side because it's harder to, I don't know, like when you're stuck in one place, like you keep getting reminded of it because you're in this, stuck in the same place. But mm -hmm. I have nothing here to remind me of. He's a beautiful human soul. He's going to go on his own journey and he's going to do great things. He'll always be the loving pink hair boy. So yeah, Thanksgiving is coming up in two days. Want to say what you're thankful for? Um, I'm actually thankful for my family. Not just my family, but just how loving they are and caring. I feel like our family is really healthy. I'm grateful because I know that I can always go back to my family. I, kn I know a lot of people have kind of messed up families, maybe divorced families, and sometimes they're fine, but... I know it's it could be a struggle sometimes. It's just nice to have a harmonious, a harmonious, harmonious family. family. Yeah, we fight, but it's like not a big deal. Yeah, a lot of families can can really have like a kind of like a wound because like the you know it could be like some deceiving mother or an asshole dad, egotistical first child, or all sorts of things. You know, people are always so close to becoming things that are unhealthy for people around them. We are pretty lucky and none of us has really gone downhill too much. If anyone has, it's probably me. I guess I'm thankful for, I'm grateful for my extended family, my quesadillas. <laughs> I can't really feel the connection because like I'm talking to a camera here, but like I know that the connection is there. So I'm grateful for my quesadillas. I'm grateful for quesadillas, the food. Quesadillas are fire. We had quesadillas yesterday. Remember? That was today. Oh yeah. I'm also my quesadillas. It is day seven. It feels like we've been in here for a while. Not being able to go outside really changes your mindset. Really changes your time set. Mind, time, mind, t time mindset. Changes your time. I need to learn more words. So. Day seven, I'm very tired, so sorry about the low energy. The quarantine's going all right. They keep giving us granola bars, peanut flavored, some sweet and salty nut, and I'm allergic to peanuts. But yeah, the moving truck took my electric razor, so I feel like a bum right now. I don't wanna be looking bad for you guys, so I'll wear this mask. I know what you're thinking. These masks are sick, huh? These masks were actually made by my childhood friend's mother in San Diego. She gave our whole family a mask. She made this one too. She didn't ask me to do this, but I wanna shout out her Instagram. It's called Tezukuri by Mika. And this go hard. You know how most masks, when you're breathing, the air like comes up and hits your eyes? They don't do that. It's just comfortable. It feels like a new clothing piece that I just bought and I'm excited to wear it. So yeah, thank you Mikasa. We had my birthday a couple days ago. We had a Japanese strawberry cake. When it's Kay's birthday, you gotta have cake. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the University of Maryland. They have like a little office here for that college on the base and a lot of the military people go there. So yeah, I'm gonna be majoring in Japanese. But yeah, the course has like a bunch of psych classes. It has philosophy classes. It has writing and speech classes, like stuff that I've been wanting to do. I registered for my classes today and I applied for the financial aid programs and stuff and I realized why people are depressed. This shit sucks. Oh, hey, Mochi. What's up? I haven't even started yet, but just like registering and doing all this paperwork, something about following the system is 
it's depressing i don't like it one bit we're trying to look for houses to move into so you guys will see when the time comes i feel like this video is a little low energy so i'm not sure if i was able to keep your attention i gotta believe in myself i gotta believe in myself that i am keeping your attention I always doubt myself. After every clip I shoot, I'm like, will the quesadillas even watch this? Are the quesadillas gonna click off? Yeah, I'm always doubting myself, so I wanna strengthen my belief. I wanna increase my confidence. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like bunnies. Yeah.